What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It's your boy MM2K back again with another video. Do me a favor before we get into this one hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate it straight up because you know the deal. Even in 2020, I am not too proud to ask. All right, so when I do these videos, I do them for fun. And I do them to inform, right? Um, but I, I do have a lot of fun doing them, okay? But this time around, I just want to get to business here. Because I'm seeing something transpire online between um, a high up entity in gaming and a Fortune 500 multi-billion dollar company. And... I think cooler heads sh should prevail. And I think that um, we need to discuss what needs to happen in light of all of this eye raising or brow raising rather uh, um, tweets going back and forth. So if y'all don't know what I'm babbling about, um, Mike Yabar, formerly of Xbox, a guy that I really like. I wish he would have stayed with Xbox to continue to have some type of influence if possible and even work his way up to, to taking over the Xbox division. You know what I'm saying? Um, through the tenure of Phil Spencer, it really feels like that Xbox has been disconnected from its hardcore base that they're trying to, they're not trying to expand, but they're trying to purge the, the former hardcore people and they're trying to go to this more fam family friendly front. Um, and it seemed like that the last person that was really fighting for the hardcore internally was um, Mike Yabar or someone at, at that high of a level. Mike ended up leaving and he ended up becoming a uh, VP over at Blizzard. And from many sources, that was his dream job. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and he, he, he he's become very blessed because of it. So good for him. However, in light of his new tenure there at Blizzard, Mike has taken to Twitter to unveil some things or some feelings that he has for Microsoft. Okay. Um, let me, let me put them up here on the board for you guys to see. So he, people have been making comments about series X and a bunch of stuff. And Mike has responded with saying things like, you know, Xbox was the biggest. Isn't it all about power? It's about games when they didn't have the power. Now it seems everything is about being the power king. Goes both ways. Always too much PR. He's been attacking Xbox PR big time. You know what I'm saying? He's always talking about the PR shackles and all that other stuff. Um, you've, you've had multiple prominent Xbox enthusiasts try to respond and try to tamper it down a little bit. And, you know, like you have Diller here. He says, Xbox PR is too much, but I will say that it's nice to see Microsoft finally doing both power investing heavily in games. And then Mike quickly responds like, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, let, let, let's let's pause here, all right? Because everything ain't everything ain't done. He says, hopefully it's AAA games, not AA average experiences. Got to differentiate with Epic Entertainment to get any any of the PS people to switch over. So he's like, no, nah, don't, don't, don't hit me with that. Like, I'm serious. Like, I'm I'm letting the world know that I feel there's serious problems over there, right? And then someone else chimes in. Now this is what the real eye 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 raising or brow raising um, tweet was. He said, somebody chimes in and says, while I agree with Mike here, it comes off as puzzling. Was Mike not in a position to make things like this happen over his tenure? And Mike responds simply, one person makes the decisions there. Okay, so. I don't know 100% who this one person is, okay? But I can only surmise through evidence, right? Um, it, 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 we can only boil it down to two people. Person number one would be Sachi Nadella. Person number two would be Phil Spencer. Here's why I don't believe per evidence. And again, I, I don't, you know, I, I'll be honest here. I have no idea, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 100% I have no idea. But via common sense and evidence, I can narrow out, in my opinion, Saatchi Nadella. Here's why I narrow him out. Saatchi is known in the industry as being a stickler for finding your product placement, which Microsoft's product placement is cloud 
based technology and services and making money. And as long as you're hitting those two check marks, boom, you're, 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 you're good in his graces, right? And Phil Spencer um, has been able to do that. They've integrated cloud technology or introduced it with Project X Cloud. Regardless of what I think of his performance, you got Digital Foundry and a bunch of people out there saying that they like it better uh, than Google Stated, which is their, their big rival right now, right? So that's making Satya happy. Then Phil always speaks about how, I, th I believe her aunt, her name is Anne, and I, I, she works uh, directly under Satya, and they go over the financials, and Anne's happy. And I know being in the Fortune 500 world, when you have that dynamic, where you're hitting it home with product placement at the moment and you're hitting it home with financials in today's financial climate and business climate, you, you got a lot of favor. And Phil has a lot of favor there. So again, knowing what we know about Satya and knowing what we know about Phil as far as who may be leading this stray away from the typical hardcore gaming mantra over there at Xbox, because we've seen a lot of this since 2009. I believe with all that evidence that it may be Phil that these darts are being fired at, right? But normally, y'all know how I feel about the job Phil is doing, okay? I'm not a fan of it at all. But regardless of that, this is business, okay? We're gonna get down to business here. I don't think, <coughs> excuse me, any of this is good for Mike and Bar. Now, I want y'all to just, just hear me out here because I know a lot of y'all thinking, MM2K, you always say that you got to hear the truth and all this other stuff. And, you know, let's be transparent. I, I get all that. But here's why I don't think this is the best way to do this the way Mike is doing this right now. First and foremost, it's never good to burn bridges in business. Whether you like what's going on over at Xbox because of what Sachi is doing or because of what Phil's doing, it's still Microsoft. They still battle it out every three months to be the richest company in the world, okay, with Google. This is Microsoft. So just because you may be throwing your darts at Xbox, it's gonna send ripples through the whole corporation. And people are gonna remember that. So, you know, you, when, when, when someone punches you in the arm you don't say oh you punched my arm i hope my arm figures it out and deals with you you say oh no you punched me right so xbox is, is an extension of microsoft this is going to have some type of ramifications if it keeps up secondly like i said earlier phil has a lot of favor with xbox okay or with microsoft because he was able to hit home with a lot of things that Satya wanted. I've spoken about this in the last two years on why people were blaming Terry Myerson for all the woes and all this stuff. And I put all the evidence together and I said, it doesn't make sense. And then we had a podcast um, with um, Next Gen and I had to bring it up again. Like I get that Satya went to Phil and said, hey, why should you exist? But Satya went to everybody and did that. And the ones that proved to him, to his satisfaction, they got to stay. And Phil is one of those people that did it to his satisfaction, right? So Phil has a lot of favor there, all right? The proof is in the pudding. So who's not to say that if things do continue to go well financially for Microsoft, this is a crazy, crazy, crazy world. You know what I'm saying? We don't know how successful Microsoft or Xbox could be in the future. Mike could walk into the office one day be sipping on his favorite cup of Java, sitting here ready to go over his day to his day to day, and like and and, and, I, and I'm envisioning uh, 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 Dave Chappelle when he was doing that when Keeping It Real Goes Wrong skit, you know what I'm saying? Where he's sitting there drinking a the coffee, and all of a sudden somebody says to him, "Guess what?" At a board meeting, guess what? Blizzard just got bought out by Xbox, <laughs> and I can see Mike going. Arr, arr, arr going crazy like Dave Chappelle did in that skit. Well, then what are you going to do? You see what I'm saying? So again, despite all my feelings about the job Phil is doing, despite the fact that I would have loved to see Mike Yabarro in charge, and I think he would have deserved it, despite the fact that I think Mike Yabarro deserved better influence there, none of that matters. This is business, and it is what it is. 
And I had to learn that the hard way. I didn't come out into the business world understanding this. I was in a similar situation. We had a very important account at my company. Um, person A went and said so, and promised this company a bunch of stuff that we were not able to do. When it was time for us to produce it, the company was upset and was threatening to leave. I had to scramble up my team. We had to go salvage the relationship. I came back to the office, talked stuff about person A I, and, and started a feud between us. And a year or two after that, person A became my boss. <laughs> and we went back and forth where I was on the receiving end of hell for several years. You see what I'm saying? So despite what should be or what you think the perception is, it is what it is, okay? So you don't want to burn bridges there. With that said, we also, we don't, Mike, I get what you're doing. I get where you you feel you may feel like this may be great to, 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 to bring some transparency to some things. But Mike, we don't need you to down the sword for, for this. The truths are self-evident. The people that are willing to listen and take in fact and absorb fact, they already know to deal with Microsoft. That's why they're gone and not fans of them anymore, including myself. I came on the scene crispy and clean capping for Microsoft and I had to have my eyes open the people that are going to stay there Jesus Christ himself could come down from the heavens and say Xbox is up to some shady stuff and they try to crucify him again those people they're a lost cause Mike they're going to damage control so don't down the sword for them they know what's going on and they're in complete denial okay so the truth is self evident don't do don't don't do this Mike don't do this I, I, I like I like what Mike has done. I like his I like his approach to gaming and stuff like that. He's he's a he's a true gamer, true hardcore gamer. But just take a chill pill, Mike. You know what I'm saying? Count your blessings. Be happy that you got your dream job. As as many have noted that you you felt that this was at Blizzard. You know what I'm saying? And everything will shake out. The truth will be self-evident when if, if this continues at Microsoft, regardless of it, if it's because of Satya or Phil. They'll they'll be they'll be held to pay for it and they'll have to answer to it. And meanwhile, you would have gotten yourself out of dodge before all that happened. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we gotta remember, despite how entertaining this may be for any of us or how we might love the, the drama and all that stuff, and we want to peer behind the onion, some things are best left untold because at the end of the day, this is business, okay? And we all got families to feed. You know what I mean? So with that being said. That's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below because like I always tell you, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, I'm on the corner of every boulevard, baby. Check me out below per the links below to follow me. You can follow me on PNTS Network. Follow me with the Broadband Bullies. Follow me on the Hard Knock Digital Culture. And follow me on the Stadia Dosage platform. Again, all the links provided below. And with that said, you all enjoy your 2020. And you have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.